Well, hey, welcome back to another another episode. I'm in Angus, as you can see, out at home in a remote location. Let me show you what we're doing today. Uh-oh. What? 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 No, not buying them. Not buying that one. Getting some parts off of this one. We are going to pull a dash out of it, dash pad and bezel this one is a uh a diesel pretty uh pretty interesting looks like it has no bed got some okayish doors and it's been sitting here quite some time you know got that gas tank here but diesel six lug pretty cool got an okayish bumper and looks like it was last registered Oh, June of, I think that says 2009, I think. So that one's been sitting there a while. Then we got this, this one, step side. Pretty cool. Last registered, looks like 2008. So they've been sitting here quite some time. Some, some other goodies in the back there. Some caps and whatnot, beauty ring. But... This one, yeah, power. Check out this bezel. Air conditioner truck, it's got all of it. And yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty dang clean in here. Even got the matching door panels. So, I don't know what year this is. Can't find a little sticker on it or anything. I'm guessing probably 80. Four, something like that but we're gonna pull that dash bezel out and dash pad and it's for angus but let me show you really quick what else he's got across the street here too got a pretty cool plow truck i think i've walked by this thing and you know filmed it a couple times but two-wheel drive heavy duty bought this from the mine long time ago i guess and it's really clean nice truck a nice plow truck got the good tires on it so i don't think i've ever truly focused on taking one of these out yet right there 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 so let's get into it let's see if the date's in here we got oh so we got a 85, cool, and there's all the uh, build stuff on it, really neat. So there's the bezel out, of course we got the low plug light and the water and fuel light, but it's not bad, it's a really clean bezel. Now we just gotta get the dash pad out, got the screws all removed over there, should have couple left maybe one down over here maybe one over here and that should just pretty much pop right off let's get her out and just like that we're out i think i am going to see about getting that because that's got a newer switch and it's got the ac stuff on it We'll see. I don't know how that really works, but you never know. I got plans for Angus with AC. We might need something like that here. We might. Let's pop the hood really quick and look at that. So, as I mentioned, diesel. Whew. It's been sitting for a while. What is this, 6.2, is that what this is? Yeah, 6.2 liter diesel. AC truck, it's been sitting a long time. You saw a lot of Michigan winters. Oh boy, that's how it goes though. Now the owner told me that this truck was blown up and there's no saving it, which obviously cab corners, they're gone, but all in all, it's nice trucks even got sliding sliding window 
Sweet. A lot of nice interior parts. Lots of nice ones. So this gray one sitting next to him. This is an 85, I think, as well, or 84. That one is uh, his burnout truck. He's working on putting a big motor in that thing. It's pretty cool. Bedside. And then over here, the blue one. That one's, we'll take a look at that thing. Just eyeball it. Looks like this one was April 2005. It's the last time it ran. This is Angus's freaking cousin. Holy shit. Got a big piper later on the back. Really nice solid truck, slider window. Just wonder if this is another 85. Got the moss in there. Baby mirrors. Looks like 68,900 miles. Got a tack. I bet it's got a hell of a motor in it. A little bit of rust in the fender. That ain't no big deal. Oh. Oh. Oh my. That's a 19. 80, I believe. Just the singles. Wow. That is Angus's exact freaking cousin. Dual tanks. Rock. Oh my goodness. Had some bushing work done to it. Got the good old spinner rims on her. Shocks, frame off. How's the underneath? Just immaculate. Just immaculate. Bucket seat. No, it's got the bench seat with the bucket looking things. Pretty cool. That's unfortunate. Windows open a little bit. But all in all, wow. Pretty nice truck. Dual exhaust. What's the rear end look like? Chrome gets you home. Spray down bed liner. Really neat. So then we got this S10, it's a boxy one. Christopher really, really, really loves this thing. Very clean, no rust. Looks like it had brand new tires on it right before it got parked. That's sad. I mean, they're not terrible. Fresh painted frame, solid, solid truck, bench seat. All complete, five speed, cowl hood, dang. Looks like it needs the front clip put on it. Very cool truck. This side always sees the sun, so a little bit of sun fading going on there. Tires are still not dry rotted, that's surprising. Oh, we got a sunroof. Cool hat. little truck and we got turkeys this would be a nice one as well and then we got sitting over here the other one not gonna go near that one that's his mom's nice topper whatnot immaculate I think it was last registered 95 but that's unfortunate so out of respect for the owner, I'm not going to open him up because he's not here and he did give me permission to go in the one though and get that taken care of and who knows, maybe we'll swing back by and check it out. He's got, you know, that one, he's got this one, he's got that one, that S10 and then two across the street. So pretty neat, pretty uh, happy and all in all, what can you say? You got, I got some good square body parts. So get these home and wrap this one up back home and playing inside here getting the uh, 85 into the 81 and once you know it I have a problem it's not a huge problem but it's going to be a problem let me show you 
I didn't even notice it, but that 85 had the, uh, with the wiper control on it. My weeper control is obviously right there, so I don't have a provision for hole for it. Also, where my headlight switch is, it's up there. It's t t t there. Okay. You know, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We'll pull the headlight switch out. We're going to flop it with the windshield washer flip switch. Probably going to put the windshield washer switch over here into this little crevasse because this little crevasse is for the AC blower. It's like that vent. And then on the dash here, that one and that one. Now looking at this dash pad, dash pad's totally different too. So I kind of figured that was going to have to come out think we're going to have to maybe make it work because I got my radio in here and I really don't want to pull the radio out. I don't know. Maybe we'll just move the radio where this is at. What do you think of them apples? I like it. Picasso. wonder if it's going to storm out. Ready? Oh, she saw me. Bark, bark. Anyways, got a conundrum here. So, got the uh, the radio. My head unit. Got it out. I was thinking I want to put it right here. Problem is going to be it's going to plug that. That's where my heater controls are. So I was thinking maybe put it down here where the other radio is at. But that means I'm going to have to cut the metal out in there. I guess it's better. I can put the vent back in for decoration purposes because it's not going to do anything until we get AC. Um... But it was kind of cool having the uh, factory radio just sitting in there. Is what it is. So what I think I got to do is pop this out, let trace, and probably do some wee to get that one to fit. So let's do that, I guess. So these radios come out, they have a little nut, not a sack, on here that unscrew out. And then you kind of just have to fish it down and out and around and out. So we're going to do that. And we're going to take our doop 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 one that was over there, put it on here, trace it out, get the death wheel and zip what we need to zip out, install it, and voila. Okay. So now we got it traced out. Let's go ahead and cut it out. And hopefully I can get a good angle on it. Got the death wheel. <laughs> Anything back there we're gonna break? Nope. metal in here. wonder why.
All right, so I got it traced out now on the plastic. Roughly use that for my reference mark for the one in the cab. Kind of just set it on there, traced it out. Now we'll just cut it up to make it fit. You know, boom, just like that. We got her installed. So let's install it. Sorry for the poor lighting. So I got the light switch installed or up, taken out. We're gonna put the dash pad in and put the other parts in from there. These, of course, have got the tabs that go up and into the dash up there. And you can just, you know, push them forward like that. And we got a screw over here, a couple screws down the bottom, then our bezel screws. So let me get you over there and show you what we got going on with the headlight switch. So you can see I pulled it out from its normal spot. Same thing with the windshield washer one. We have to get it up. So when we put the bezel on, we're gonna have to kind of fish the headlight switch through there. We're gonna have to make something, I think, for the windshield wiper in there, I think, and then OVD2 port. But I just wanna get this in right now because it's getting dark and I'm kind of tired of working on this. Somewhat down into place. Of course our gauges don't seem to fit too great, but you know, better ish, I guess. switch I'm gonna have to fish that through up here there yeah like that put this little knobby doodad on When we get everything secured, we'll just pop it back in. Go from there. Gauges don't want to fit in there too well, but they will learn. I don't feel like doing any more trimming. So we're out here the next day, again. self tapered in some metal there, dry fitted that. Put my little mark right where we're gonna Christmas tree bit that thing out. Then we're gonna go ahead and mount the switch up right there for the headlights. We'll call that gold. Well, there it is. All installed, radios installed, fits nicely. Put the, all the pieces back together. That's what I did for the cruise switch. I just put this little piece back here, popped it on there, moved the wiper up there so I got my headlights in the light spot. It's a little off, but it's a lot better than what it was. 
So with that, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Thanks for watching. You know, Angus has got a good new dash. Makes me happy. Hope you enjoyed that story on the uh, fellers, you know, square bodies that it got. We'll see you on the next one.